Welcome back to Light Source Engraving. I'm your host Patrick as usual and today I'm going to go through a video that I think is going to help a lot of laser engravers especially if you are subscribed to the Adobe platform. Adobe Illustrator now has AI built in that will generate vector files and I'm just going to go through some of the examples that they have and the prompts that they have already preset for you they're just examples to help you write your own prompts so you can use those as guides and then just quickly go through the different uh, they call them types so we'll go through the four different types and quickly go through what they do and that is going to be it but let's just jump right into Adobe Illustrator and get started what I have here is a blank canvas and what we're going to do is just create our own quick little scene so what I'm going to first do is go to scene and I want to just describe a mountain scene with a stream and trees. And then you can draw a shape to specify how large or small you want your creation to be. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle there and it says match active artboard style i'm going to turn that off and generate and i just want to show you quickly what this does right off the bat and then we'll get into some more specifics so why it's generating there are four types and the four types are scene which we just used subject icon and pattern now if we want to keep building this scene i can click the match active artboard style and it's going to use similar graphic for anything else we create in the future so now let's say I want to add a bear so let's add a bear catching a fish now I don't want a scene because we already have our background but I just want the subject of the bear so let's have it generate a bear catching a fish. And I did not turn on match active artboard style, so I don't know what we're going to get if it doesn't match. All right, so here's the three bears that is generated there. So there's bear one. And then if you click these, it re will replace them, bear two and bear three. So let's say we really like bear three, and we can just take him and put him in this scene. And we're already building us some new artwork. So that's a quick example of what you can do. Now let's go over here and I'm going to click match artboard style. This is one of the examples that comes with the Adobe Illustrator 24. I'm going to use the same bear catching a fish match active artboard style. And because this artboard is different it is going to build a different style so there is our bear catching a fish now two things I want to point out we did not specify what size we wanted this bear to be so therefore he is large and it replaced the active scene so if we control Z and get back to our scene and let's say we want that bear to be about that big then we can just click and have our bear and put him right in the scene and you can see that the artwork style matches the background scene so there's another bear and then you can click that and replace him again let's go back to our first one well he looks like he belongs there He's kind of wet, so we could put him standing on the side of the stream with his fish. Okay, folks, let's assume that you haven't used the text to vector graphics application yet, and you're not sure how to find it. Head up to the window menu and then scroll down until you see text to vector graphic. And then you can take this and nest it in one of your other windows if you like or just let it hang out and float around but the four types are subject scene icon and pattern 
So let's experiment with pattern first. Let's just draw a rectangle and then we're going to put a pattern in that rectangle. So our fill is active. We're going to go with pattern and they have some sample prompts abstract geometric maze organic hand-drawn fruits um, but we can do anything we want so how about we do bear and a fish all right we are done generating so here is the first bear and a fish pattern now the cool thing about these is they are seamless so you can move them around you can also add them to your swatch menu but here's pattern one Here's pattern two and pattern three. And then of course you can always make more patterns if you're not happy with those. If you head over to your pattern and you right click, you can apply the pattern, add it to the swatches or edit it. You can also rate your experience with the text to vector graphic application. But that's just a quick rundown of how you can get uh, any type of pattern that you like. Now let's go to Icon. And again they have the different uh, example prompts there. But I want to do a bear and a fish. Let's see a bear catching a fish. And then I just want to do icon and I'm going to have it match the active artboard style. So hopefully we'll get something that looks kind of like this eagle. There's our first bear. There's a fish. And there is a bear fishing. And it does kind of resemble this style. But icon and subject are the two that will not have a background. They're more for uh, icons, more for generating a logo, perhaps. And subject is just adding items to a scene that you already have created. So if we go back to this scene and I do the same bear catching a fish with icon, we'll get a different result. So here's our first bear catching a fish. It's more like a bear fishing. There's our second and our third. And then for scene, they have example prompts there. And uh, as we did the example earlier, you can make your own mountain stream scene. And then last was subject. And here's some of the subjects that I've created before. And then if you want, you can just drag and drop these subjects, icons, scenes, whatever you created right onto your artboard. So you don't have to replace items with those. You could just drag and drop. And these were West Virginia mountain scene with a black bear and a raccoon. The cool thing is that it remembers your prompts. When you click those, it shows you the prompt that you used to create it. So those came out pretty good. They, uh, I think it did a good job. And I really like the fact that it leaves your prompts there for you to reference at a later point. So if we went back to pattern and uh, let's see, I think I did the pattern over here. It's gonna keep your prompts that you use to create those patterns. I haven't created a pattern on this artboard yet. So we don't have any to reference. So we could always do a black and white random geometric pattern. And let's see what we get. So we'll do this pattern and if it turns out well enough then I'll use it. If not, I have another idea, but we'll wait and see. So let's draw a rectangle with the fill active and let's put this pattern in it. And 
that's a pretty neat pattern. Let's use this pattern and say that it's perfect and we're going to use it for some laser engraving. So let's put this to use. So the first thing I want to do is get the pattern exactly how I want it to look in this rectangle. Let's say we want it, oh, let's say we want to have the four circles and that's perfect. Then I'm going to do expand object. I'm going to expand it again. I'm going to use the Pathfinder and merge those. What I'm going to do is let's see, let's double click so we can just focus on this group. I'm going to select the black and then go to select inverse and I'm going to delete everything that's not black. Alright, now I have everything that's not black deleted. I'm going to copy this, control C, and then open up Lightburn and paste it right into Lightburn. Control V, and there we go. Now we just need to pick which laser we're going to use for this, and in interest of time, we're going to use the fiber laser. All right, have that graphic prepared in Lightburn now uh, by simply copying and pasting. I have my layers set just to run a quick fill. And we're just gonna engrave some steel real quick. Let's transfer over to the laser camera. And frame it just to make sure I am framed. Alright, that's good. I know I am in focus. And let's just run this real quick. I will give it a cleaning pass just to brighten that up so you can see it a little better. So we're just going to do that real quick. Alright folks, here we have our first example of AI generated pattern that was used on the fiber laser and it turned out pretty cool it has kind of a spacey vibe to it so if you were doing a full wrap tumbler this might be a cool pattern to use to go along with some planets or somebody that likes astrology etc and with that quick over overview dig in and start practicing yourself get to learn those prompts and what uh, generates the best outcome for you with your style and that's all I have for today and thank you to my patrons for allowing me to make these videos by allowing me to buy practice supplies and testing supplies it is a super big help I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart thank you very much thank you to everyone that's watching I appreciate every view that I get and most importantly I appreciate every comment you leave so please leave me a comment if you want to see more Adobe Illustrator videos or if there's some other topic you want me to address, leave me a comment and I'll do the best that I can. If you have any questions about Adobe Illustrator and the text to graphic program or yeah, text to vector graphic application within within Adobe Illustrator, leave a comment and ask your question and I'll get back to it as soon as I possibly can. But that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you later.